Hi, my name is Angelica and welcome to your Body Club workout. And today we'll be doing a mobility sequence. All you need for it is your lovely selves and a yoga mat. And I've designed this sequence so you can do it at any time of the day, whether first thing in the morning just to mobilize all your joints, get muscles working, or just before you go to bed. So let's get started. We're going to find our all fours position. So on your hands and knees, wrists beneath your shoulders, knees beneath your hips. And let's just start in a cat cow position. So we take an inhale, let the belly dip, looking up towards the sky, bum sticks out. And as you exhale, start to round the back, tailbone tucking and feel yourself pushing the floor. Taking an inhale here, belly dipping, so extending the spine. And as you exhale, just round. Pull the belly button up towards the spine, look in between the legs. Try to time your um, movement to each breath. Maybe introduce an audible exhale to start to wake up the core. Now in this next part, we can start to bring the hips into the equation. So imagine there's a pencil on your tailbone and you can start to draw a figure eight position. Um, And then if you're feeling game, try to do it the other way. One way might feel a little bit more awkward. So then we're starting to gently open the hip flexors when the hips are forward. Last one here. Find your neutral spine. So lengthen the spine, make sure it's parallel to the ceiling. From here, we'll go into what's called a disco cap. So from here, we start to focus on our tailbone. And instead of drawing those eights, we're doing circles. And our elbows will go slightly closer to the ribcage. Each time, let the head come along as well, lengthening. And then start to go the other way. Last one here. Reset into your all fours. Now keeping the hips exactly where they are, so on top of the knees, just walk your hands forward once, twice, and then draw the head in between your arms. Feel the stretch in the shoulder. Take an inhale breath here. Exhale. On this next exhale, start to walk your hands back towards your all fours position. Roll the shoulder blades back and down, tuck the tailbone under, and we find our first downward dog. So downward dog, we're here to start to lengthen the back of the thighs, the, the calves, and start to direct your chest towards your thighs, alternating heels, pedaling one foot at a time. Take another couple breaths here. Maybe start to hold both heels down. No dramas if your heels don't. Touch the floor at this one. We're just still warming up. Good. Now let's just find stillness in our downward dog. Take an inhale breath here. And starting from the tailbone, I want you to ripple your spine along the ceiling. So starting from the back, working towards the front body, and you should find yourself in your full plank position. Bend the knees deeply, and then we go again. So we find that downward dog. Ripple the spine, let the heels lift. Find your full plank, and then bend the knees deeply, and then find your downward dog. So we're starting to introduce warming up and the glutes. Don't forget to breathe. Last time here, team. And we'll meet in our downward dog. Good. So from here, we take an inhale breath with our right leg. 
lift it up to the sky. So from here in your three-legged dog, bend into the knee. And let's start to draw circles. So we're opening up into the hip joint. Try to keep your hips square. And then start to reverse your circles. Last one here. Square up your hips, straighten the leg to three-legged dog. Now we take an inhale breath in your three-legged dog. As you exhale, shift the weight forward. The right knee goes to your right elbow, looking forward here. We take an inhale breath, three-legged dog. And as you exhale, cross the body. Right knee to left elbow, looking forward, engage the core. Kick back up. On the next one here, take an inhale breath, three-legged dog. We shift the weight forward. Kiss your knee, not really, <laughs> for three, two, and one. Step the right foot in between your hands. Now, don't worry if you don't make it, just shuffle your weight forward. We're now into a low lunge. Chest is proud. Good. From here, we drop the back knee down. So we've got a 90-90 lunge position. Look forward and then bring your arms up as well. Roll the shoulder blades back and down. Now, don't worry if you start to have wobbles. Entirely normal, but that's why we look forward in this sort of exercise. So having the hands reaching up to the sky, palms facing each other. We take an inhale breath to prepare it. As we exhale, we glide forward. So tailbone is tucked and we're working the hip flexor of the back leg as we glide forward. So it's a very subtle movement first. And then slide back. Glide forward. Slide back. You can glide or slide the same thing, right? But this idea that we're not sinking down, we're staying, sort of staying on the same level, so we can open up this hip flexor gently. And imagine there's someone pulling a string from your head. Okay, now let's make this movement a little bit bigger now. So we're gonna shift the bum back, arms out by the side, so we start to feel a hamstring stretch here. And then now we can glide much more forward, let the hips slightly sink. So now working front hamstring, back hip flexor. And then just adding a bit of back extension too. Shining your chest up towards the ceiling. Now of course, you're welcome to take this movement however deeply you want, right? So you don't have to go all the way down or all the way up. This is your flow, your time. Good, two more here. Last one, and we'll meet in that starting position, so arms raised, and then we're back to our 90-90 lunge position. Okay, so take an inhale breath, grow tall for me, and as you exhale, start to reach your hands to the sides for T-shape, turn towards your bent leg. Go, we inhale, reach up, and we do that again. Exhale, reach the fingertips out to the sides, T-shape. Now, what we're doing here is adding a spinal rotation, and we lead with our chest, head follows. Good. Inhale, exhale, T-shape. Last one here. Exhale, T-shape, hold it here, see if you can roll the shoulder blades down, see if you can reach those fingertips just a little bit further away. Then we bring the hands up to the sky, and then from here, drop the hand, that's the same as the front leg down, we're going to side bend. So from here, reach up, inhale, exhale, side bend towards your front leg. And you should feel a really yummy stretch on the side body of the arm going up and over. And the hip flexor will also enjoy that extra tension. Oftentimes, we feel a bit crunchy and tight in the hip flexors, especially if we're seated in front of a computer. Good, let's bring the hand up to the sky. Good. Now, we're going to take both hands and place it on the inside of your uh, front foot. So I'm gonna turn around for this because you'll see, I don't wanna be facing behind you. So you stay where you are. <laughs> Good, so now you should have both hands on the inside of your front foot, looking forward. Now with your back leg, tuck the foot under, and we should find our low lunge like what we did earlier. Then from here, take an inhale breath, and as you exhale, with your hands, start to walk towards your back leg. And we're now going to stretch out the inner thigh of that front leg before. Now, 
most of us will want to look forward naturally, see if you can shine the chest forward. And if your bum is sticking up to the sky here, that's totally fine, as long as we've got this inner thigh stretch working. Great, so now let's walk towards the straight leg. Give that inner thigh a little bit more love. Couple of breaths here. Then from here, let's do that again, walking towards the straight leg, inner thigh stretch, shine the chest forward, show me imaginary necklace. Good, last time here. Good, one more breath. Good, then you're gonna to turn towards your front leg. Really nice. Ground into your hands, your feet, and then we're going to find that downward dog position. Pedal the feet, roll the shoulders back and down. So you should be starting to feel a bit warmer, maybe your heels will touch even more towards the ground. If not, that's okay. Make this work for you. Okay, let's do the other side. So from here, left leg this time floats up to the sky, three-legged dog. Now you know where we're going. <laughs> I'll try to say less, so you can focus on the movement. So we now should be imagining the pencil on our left knee. We are drawing hip circles. So think more about the quality of the movement rather than the speed. We're trying to open up the hip joint. Reverse your circles here. Don't forget to breathe. Last one, square up the hips, straighten the leg. You're in your three-legged dog. We take an inhale in this position. As we exhale, left leg to left knee. Engage the core. Good, kick the leg up. Inhale. As we exhale, go across the body here, left knee to right elbow, looking forward. Inhale, kick back. And as we exhale, remember, let's kiss that knee first. Draw the belly button up. Hold for four, three, two, and one, step the foot in between your hands. You're in your low lunge again. Good, drop the back knee down. 90-90 lunge. See if we can do this with fewer wobbles the next time. Look forward first. Raise the hands up to the sky. Palms facing each other. 90-90 lunge. Tuck the tailbone slightly under. Engage the glute of the back leg. Glide forward. Slide back. Pick your firm, <laughs> lying or sliding. Remember, see, notice it's a very subtle movement here. We're opening up the hip flexor of the back leg. Inhale, exhale, glide. Now take a moment to just check also on your shoulder alignment. Oftentimes when the arms are reaching up, our rib cage likes to flare out like a balloon, so make a priority to Soften them, sink them down. Last one here, we'll add some art. So from here, we're going to shift the leg back, straighten the front leg. So we're diving forward, hamstring stretch the front leg. Now we can sink the hips, step forward on this one. So you let your back extend, chest is shining forward. Don't be afraid to make your breath, exhale breath audible here. A little spark I can offer you here. So now that you're familiar with the movement, see if you can keep the neck nice and long when we dive forward. Can you extend that back just a little bit more? Chest is proud. Good. All right, last one here. Let's return to the starting position in this, in this section, right? So, 90 lunge. Arms are reaching up to the sky. Remember the analogy since pulling the string from the top of your head. We take an inhale to prepare. As we exhale, we twist for, to for the bend of the knee. Reaching the hands to the sides, T-shape. Inhale, reach. Exhale, T. Inhale, reach. Exhale, leading with the chest if you can here. The head flex. Inhale, reach. Exhale, T. 
Last time, inhale, reach. Exhale, T. Let's hold it here. Keep the hands in line with the shoulders if you can. Holding here for two. And one. Let's reach the hands up towards the sky. Roll the shoulder blades down. Then from here, hand the same as the front leg. Let that hold your hip. Reach the opposite hand up. Inhale. We exhale, side bend towards the bent leg. The front leg, rather. Hold that stretch. Make this feel good on your right side body. Back leg hip flexor. Good. Take an inhale breath. As we exhale, we stack the spine. Good. Now place both hands on the inside of the front foot. I'm just going to turn around. You stay where you are. Good. There we go. So both hands on the inside of that front foot. We take an inhale. That's it. So we take an inhale, lift the back leg off the floor here. We go into our swipe. I've learned as the sneaky swivel, not my, not my thing. So we take an inhale first, and as we exhale, walk towards the bent leg in a thigh stretch. Good. Take an inhale, we exhale, walk with purpose, with intent to the other side. Remember, to keep lifting the chest here if you can look more forward than down. Good. Take an inhale, exhale. And one more time, inhale, exhale, walk. Really nice. Then from here, let's all turn towards the front leg. Let's have your hands on either side of the foot. Push into the hands for support. And then we find downward dog. We paddle. Really nice. Then from here, we walk our feet towards our hands and let's ground our sit bones. So we're now into, actually, we're going to face, we're going to face the front of our mat. We're now in a seated position. So you're welcome to slightly bend your knees in this position if it means that your spine can be a little bit more vertical. Good. And just to finish off for today, we'll roll our shoulder blades back and down. We reach our hands up to the sky. We're now making an L shape. Feet are flat, so toes towards your nose. We take an inhale, reach up nice and tall. As we exhale, we fold towards our feet. And then from here, with your hands, we need to glide the hands back towards the hips. And then we reach up back up towards the ceiling. And then we do it again. Hold over. Glide the fingertips. Sit up nice and tall. Reach it up. It's like you're taking off a top hat. Good fold. Now it really doesn't matter about whether you're using inhale or exhale, as long as you can try to connect a movement to the breath. Last time. Fold forward, and then we're going to meet in that L shape, and then we're going to reverse everything. So we take the hands down, we glide them forward, find that forward. then we're lifting up. Hands down, glide forward, and lifting up. It's like you're, I liken it to, if you remember the Lion King, you're lifting up Simba up to the, up to the masses. <laughs> really nice. Now, of course, it's feeling a bit too tight in the hamstrings. As I said earlier, welcome to introduce a slight bend in the knees. Really nice. Last one here. Reaching up, roll the shoulder blades back and down. Then from here, let's just cross the legs. Turn, let's all turn to face each other. And just to wrap things up, let's take a moment to reach the hands up. And we're going to twist once more, so towards our left hand side. Allow the chest to turn towards the left hand side, opposite hand to opposite knee. Maybe you look beyond your shoulder. Inhale, grow tall. 
Exhale, twist. Once more, inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Last time, inhale, exhale, twist. And then from here, let's just take the hands back down, roll the shoulders a couple more times, one way and then the other way. And then we reach our hands up towards the sky, gazing at your thumbs. Let's do four of these together. Take a nice inhale, back, reaching up, looking at your fingertips, press the hands down to heart center two more times together. Inhale, exhale. Last time to finish off our flow. Inhale and exhale. Just make this a little bit slower. Hand to heart center and you're done. Thank you for joining me.